Okay, today's lesson is on heredity. Why do I look the way I do? What does it mean when they say it's in the genes? You ever heard somebody say something like that? Especially if a father and son look alike. Traits, inherited characteristics from our parents. Different traits. So you have different traits. You have freckles and no freckles. Widow's peak, which is really her hairline. Straight hairline. Uh, free earlobe, attached earlobe. You have dominant traits, which are, I call them stronger than the recessive traits, and recessive traits. Recessive traits, you need two recessive um, so that it becomes, that it overpowers the dominant trait. Okay, so dominant traits. Dominant traits will overpower the recessive trait. The only way for the recessive trait to happen is if both parents were carriers of the recessive trait. A dominant trait is represented by a capital letter on the Punnett square. An example is brown hair, capital B. The capital B is called an allele. An allele is one or more gene variations. Recessive traits, only present when inherited from both parents. Recessive traits are genetically passed on from parents. If not showing, the person is a carrier of that trait and can pass it on to their offspring. The recessive trait is represented on the Punnett square as a lowercase letter. And examples like red hair, uh, lowercase r. The lowercase r is called an allele. An allele is one or more gene variations. A genotype is represented by letters and is an organism's combination of alleles. This determines the phenotype. Homozygous dominant means that they're both capital and they're both the same, okay? Homozygous recessive, it means that they're both lowercase and that they're both the same. And heterozygous means two different, so you have one that's uh, dominant, one that's recessive. Okay, so phenotype, the observable characteristics or traits. So green eyes is a phenotype. What is a Punnett square? It is a square diagram that is used to predict the probability of having um, a, an offspring, having a particular genotype. So if you had a parent, the father had brown eyes, and the mother had brown eyes, but this was their genotypes, um, dominant brown, capital B for brown eyes, and recessive lowercase b for blue eyes, and mom has the same thing. She had capital uh, B for brown eyes and uh, dominant and recessive for blue eyes. So they were both carriers for blue eyes. So anyways, what you do is you take one from the mother, one from the father, okay? And you cross it over, okay? And then you have one from the father, one from the mother, and this is the mom's, this is the dad's. And they always, even though this looks like it should be in reverse, you always put the dominant first, the capital letter first. So capital B, uh, lowercase b, and then they both had lowercase b, okay? So that would be all the combinations that they would have if this was offspring, okay? So if you look at it, three out of the four have a capital B, which is dominant. So three out of four of their offspring would uh, have a chance of having brown eyes, which means that they would, um, that would be 75%. Because if you think of it as 100%, oh, think of it as 100%, and each box is worth 25%, okay? So if they asked you how many of the offspring would be carriers for blue eyes, you would count the small um, in each box if there's a letter uh, lowercase b for blue eyes. So you have one, two, three. You really have four. These two are together, but it's for each box. So 75%, three out of four, of their offspring would be carriers for blue eyes. 
Okay, so practice with the Punnett square. Mother has freckles, which is a dominant trait represented by a capital F. Mom's genotype is capital F, capital F. So uh, dominant, dominant. Father has freckles, which is a dominant trait represent, represented by a capital F. Dad's genotype is capital F, capital F. Okay, both dominant. So if you do the Punnett square, here's the father's, capital F, capital F, and the mother's, capital F, capital F. And you put them together, all the combinations, that would be what you would say what the combinations would be for their offspring. So four out of four are dominant for uh, freckles, which means that all of their offspring they have a 100% chance of having freckles. Um, and if they had a question, how many would, uh, would be carriers for no freckles? Well, there's no um, lowercase f. So if there's no lowercase f for freckles, then 0% would have a chance of carrying, be a carrier for freck, uh, no freckles. Okay, Punnett square practice. Mother has freckles and father has no freckles. No freckles is lowercase f because it is recessive. Mom's genotype is uh, dominant f, dominant f. And father's genotype is recessive f, recessive f, okay? What are the chances of having a child with freckles? And what are the chances of having a child with no freckles? Okay, so... Here is dad's genotype, recessive F, recessive F, and mom's genotype, dominant F, dominant F. So dominant is for freckles, and recessive is for no freckles. So then put the combinations together, dominant F, recessive F, dominant F, recessive F, dominant F, recessive F, dominant F, recessive F. So they have a hundred percent chance of having freckles okay because it's dominant and in each case there is a, a capital letter so that means that they have a hundred percent chance of having offspring with freckles and then they have a zero per oh, I'm sorry um, what was the other question what are the chances of having a child with no freckles um, they have a zero percent chance of having a child with no freckles okay but they have 100% of their offspring would be carriers for freckles, okay? Okay, Punnett Square Practice. Mom has freckles, but her genotype is a capital F or dominant F, lowercase f for recessive. Dad has no freckles. His genotype is recessive. Um, F, recessive F. What are the chances of the offspring having freckles? No freckles. Okay, so here's dad's genotype. Lowercase F, recessive. Lowercase F, recess, recessive. And mom's is dominant, capital F, and recessive, lowercase F. So take the combinations that you would have. Dominant F, recessive F. Dominant F, recessive F, recessive F, recessive F, recessive F, recessive F. Okay, so it asks you, what are the chances of the offspring having freckles? So freckles dominant, how many out of the four is there a capital letter? There's one, two, so it'd be two out of four would be 50% would have freckles, okay? And no freckles, it it would have to have two recessive, two lowercase f's. So one, two. Two out of four of their offspring have a chance of having no freckles. Okay, so here's a bonus question. What percent of the offspring will be a carrier for no freckles? Okay, a carrier. So one, two, three, four. Each box has a recessive in it, so that's 100% of their offspring will be at least a carrier, meaning they may not show the trait, okay, but they would be able to uh, pass it on to their offspring. 
Okay, so here's your student practice for Punnett Squares, page one. A father has a widow's peak, which is a dominant trait represented by a capital W. The father's genotype is dominant W, dominant W. A mother has a straight line, I'm sorry, a straight hairline, which is a recessive trait represented by a lowercase s. So mom's genotype is recessive s, recessive s. Complete the Punnett square. So I already put in for you the father's genotype, dominant W, dominant W, and I put in the mother's genotype, recessive S, recessive S. So you're going to fill in the combinations. Okay, so this is page two. From the slide above, what you just completed, answer the following questions. What percent of the offspring will have a widow's peak? What percent of the offspring will have a straight hairline? And what percent will be a carrier for the trait? Flipped over too fast. For the uh, carrier for the trait of a straight hairline. So you're going to answer that in the rectangles. And here's a second punnet square for you to go ahead and fill in. Uh, mother has a widow's peak, which is a dominant trait represented by a capital W. The mother's genotype is dominant. W recessive S. The father has a straight hairline, which is a recessive trait represented by a lowercase s. The father's genotype is recessive S, recessive S. Complete the Punnett square. Okay, so I put in the mother's dominant W, okay, for widow's peak, and her recessive straight hairline. So she's a carrier for it. It doesn't show through, but she can pass it on to her offspring. And dad has two recessive and he has a straight hairline. Okay, so go ahead and complete that Punnett square, the combinations. And then after you do that, answer the following questions using the slide above. What percent of the offspring will have a widow's peak? What percent of the offspring will have a straight hairline? What percent will be a carrier for the trait of, uh, of a straight hairline? And last practice for Punnett squares for the students. A mother has a free earlobe, which is a dominant trait represented by a capital F. The mother's genotype is dominant F, dominant F. The father has an attached earlobe which is a recessive trait represented by a lowercase a. The father's genotype is recessive a, recessive a. Complete the Punnett square. So I did already put them there for you. I put the mother's genotype, dominant F, dominant F, and I gave you the father's genotype, recessive a, recessive a. So complete that Punnett square, and then answer these following questions. What percent of the offspring will have an attached earlobe? What percent of the offspring will have a free earlobe? And what percent will be a carrier for the trait of an attached earlobe? Okay, we're on page seven for the students. Answer the following. If dominant, put a capital D. Or if it's recessive, put a lowercase r. Number one, no freckles. Number two, free earlobe. Number three, straight hairline. Number four, widow's peak. Number five, freckles. And number six, attached earlobe. And it tells you right on the chart next to you. Pretty much. Page eight, this is more practice. Answer if it's a genotype or a phenotype, okay? And answer the following, dominant or recessive, okay? How do you know if it's recessive or dominant? Okay, so answer if the following is dominant or recessive, and then you're going to answer why you know it's dominant or recessive. Okay, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.